there and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. I've got this sketchbook out where we paint movie and TV scenes together. We're on number eight of the series and this time we're gonna do a Disney. I'm honestly so excited. Let's do this. Can you believe we're on the 8th episode of the scene series? It's actually been a little while since the last one, the last one was Christmas themed. But we're now back, we're having fun and today we're painting a Disney movie, we're painting Tangled. Tangled was my favourite Disney film for a long while and honestly it might have been my favourite movie. I'm really not sure anymore though because Frozen 2 and Moana have come out since and they're coming for that number one spot. They're definitely my top three, but I don't know which one my favorite is. When Tangled came out, it was such a good movie and it was iconic, but I do really love Frozen 2. Which one is your favorite Disney movie? I'd love to know. I will say, I don't think the entire soundtrack for Tangled is as strong as other ones, but I See The Light is hands down my favorite Disney song. It's so good. I absolutely love it. I'm just not sure the entire soundtrack is as strong as something like Frozen, Frozen 2, kind of Moana. If you haven't seen Tangled, it's a Disney film that came out in 2010. Yes, that is 14 years ago. I couldn't believe it myself. And it's loosely based on the Brothers Grimm fairy tale Rapunzel. It's a really good film and if you haven't seen it, then I highly recommend. It has a really good plot and there are so many other good characters rather than just the entire film being based around Rapunzel. Flynn has his own storyline, own character development, as well as Rapunzel's which is obviously a really big part of it. There really were lots of different scenes that I could have chosen for this movie. I knew that I wanted something that involved the tower which meant that it was going to be quite early on in the film. I also knew that I wanted it to be colourful. So probably her at the beginning of the movie rather than when she gets trapped later on. And I was considering just doing the tower as the scene, but I really wanted Rapunzel to be in this painting. So the scene that I've chosen for this episode is right at the beginning of the movie, after When Will My Life Begin, where Mother Guffle leaves and Rapunzel's just kind of stuck in her tower. I think it's a really pretty scene and it had a lot of potential. I'm just not quite sure that I managed it and I'll talk you through a little bit about why a bit later on. When I was choosing this scene, I watched Tangled for what must be about the 300th time now. And I must say, one thing I had noticed a lot more this time since seeing it on the internet is the age gap between Flynn Rider or Eugene and Rapunzel. I hadn't really noticed it too much before. But Eugene is supposed to be around 26, 27, and Rapunzel just turns 18. And there's lots of different ways to look at it, but I think rewatching the film, you kind of notice that Rapunzel is very immature and naive because she's been locked in a tower her entire life, so she is pretty much a child. So I did notice that the age gap was a little bit more obvious this time that I watched it. I do think Flynn Rider or Eugene is such an amazing character though. He's just really cool and he has so much personality compared to other Disney movies. Something like Kristoff in Frozen, no hate to Kristoff, but Flynn Rider just has so much personality compared to him, compared to all of the Disney princesses' love interests. I just feel like he's so cool. I think Rapunzel is played very well and I love Mandy Moore's singing voice. It's theatrical and it matches Rapunzel so well. When it comes to Mother Gothel, I think she's such a good villain. I have actually spoken about this before because I have actually painted Mother Gothel before. There was a mermaid prompt last year that was called Villain and I decided to paint Mother Gothel as a mermaid. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave the playlist down below. I talk a little bit more about Mother Gothel and my thoughts on it. And also, I think that's a pretty cool mermaid. Mother Gothel was one of my favourites of all the mermaids that I painted for Mermaid. But each time I watch the movie, I notice more mannerisms and traits that are so subtle. And that's why she's such a good villain, because it's just not obvious. 
but because I'd painted Mother Gothel before, I knew that she wasn't going to be in the scene that I chose. I think there were still lots of scenes that I could have chosen, but I was a little bit restricted in that sense. This is a fantastic movie and if you haven't seen it, you really should. I watched it in cinema when I was a child and Tangled was the movie that got me into Disney movies. Before then, I'd watched them when I was really young, but I was not into Disney movies, and then I watched Tangled and that changed everything for me. I also feel like Tangled walked so Frozen could run, and Tangled is the reason that we have so many good Disney movies since then. Although they're actually painting this Disney scene really made me realise that I could expand that into Pixar. I could paint so many different scenes from Pixar movies. We've got Toy Story, Monsters Inc. There's so many good ones that I hadn't even thought about. We're going to have to leave it a little while to space them out though. A little sneak peek into the next episode, we're going to be painting a scene from E.T. which was requested. And I've not seen E.T. in years, so I am super excited to rewatch that. There really are so many different movies and TV scenes that could be painted. I want to make sure that I have a variety, but if there's any specific movies or shows you'd like to see me paint, just pop them down below. There are so many out there. There are so many that I could do. And especially with the new Mean Girls movie coming up, that did make me realise that I could have painted a scene from Mean Girls. Because I haven't really done any rom-coms or chick flicks yet. But anyway, we're getting off topic now. Tangled is an incredible film, check it out if you haven't. And the painting. I think the painting had so much potential and the scene that I chose, I'm really happy with. I just didn't execute it the best way possible. There were a couple of areas that I found really difficult. I think the face was very small in the scene, which I hadn't really realised until I started sketching. It might have been easier if I had cropped the scene or zoomed in a little bit. But I really love the composition, I didn't want to zoom in on the tower. But Rapunzel's face was about the size of my fingernail. And I have mentioned this before on my channel, but I really don't do well with painting things small or drawing really small. I could not be a miniature artist. No, that's not for me, that's not for me at all. So Rapunzel's face was just a little bit too small for me to be able to do it accurately and do it well. I don't have much experience with that kind of thing. And I also don't really enjoy doing really tiny details like that. When it comes to watercolour, the parts that I enjoy are the first few layers where it's wet on wet and it's flowy and you can really have fun. So adding really tiny details just isn't something that I tend to enjoy. And I think Rapunzel's face was just a little bit too small for me to enjoy painting it. I also didn't perfect the sketch first. I knew that the sketch didn't really look like Rapunzel very much, and I just kind of left it there. It is just a sketchbook page, and obviously if it was something like a commission, I would make sure that it was done to the best of my ability. But I was just chilling in bed, sketching out this scene. And I didn't really take the time to get it perfect. I used pencil, created a bit of a mess trying to work so small and I just couldn't get the face right. Then when I started adding colour pencil to actually see the lines, the colour pencil didn't rub out so I was kind of stuck with this face that I'd drawn. And that's why it doesn't really look like Rapunzel. I think the eyes are too big and the angle of the face just isn't correct. But at the point that it's already been sketched in colour pencil and you're working with watercolour, there isn't really a lot that you could do. I don't really like adding gouache to my pieces to try and regain the highlights. Just because it's something I don't have much experience with. Also, sometimes gouache gives a kind of cloudy look to a painting that I'm not a huge fan of. It's matte and opaque and sometimes I love the transparent look that you get from watercolour where you can see the texture and see the paper shine through. And gouache is a very particular look so I try not to add that if it's not what I'm going for. Another part of the painting that I really struggled with is the wooden frame. You can see the window frame has so much detail to it and I just could not get it right. There was perspective, there were a lot of round edges, the shapes were very different to anything that I've done before. I didn't think it would be a problem until I started and I was doing the sketch and I was just like, I can't make this work, I can't do it quickly. And it wasn't fun. And the entire window frame was so much harder than I hoped it would be. I'd hoped I'd been able to do something that's kind of flowy, but that was not the case. 
Generally, when it comes to these movie scenes, I do have a little bit of a system that I like to follow. I like the first layer or the first two layers to be wet on wet, nice and flowy, just a nice flowy background that I can add some detail to. Then I do about three or four layers of details with the watercolour paint. And then recently after that, I've been adding colour pencil. For this painting, I had to do a lot more layers and then I added the colour pencil and hope I'd been able to fix it and it just didn't do that. I think the pencil did help to refine the edges which sometimes get lost with watercolour and that's how I've been loving adding it to my paintings recently. But there were a lot of things that it just couldn't save. One of them was the hair. Blonde hair is very difficult to do. I don't know if you've ever painted blonde hair but it's such a difficult colour to make. It's kind of yellow but then it's kind of muted and it's kind of white it's such a weird color to try and make especially rapunzel's hair because rapunzel's hair isn't even like a natural blonde it is virtually yellow because obviously it's like a disney film and the hair has to be very obvious but it's hard to paint yellow hair and make it look decent because it's bright yellow i tried to save it a little bit with the color pencils but that was it wasn't really happening so in conclusion, it's my favourite Disney film, but it was a really difficult painting to do. I am opening myself up to different types of scenes that I paint now from movies. I'm doing characters, which I kind of tried to avoid at the beginning. and doing faces now. I'm trying to add more detail, and I am picking slightly harder scenes now, I feel. But this one might have pushed my limits in what I'm comfortable doing in two hours. I found it really difficult working on such a small scale but one thing that I do want to work on this year is to get more likeness in the portraits that I'm making and this was actually one of my art goals for this year so maybe I'll incorporate more faces into these movie scenes. I also think it might have been easier to just do the painting in gouache being able to go over on top of things and add the detail, add the shadows, add the highlights Rather than leaving the gaps for the highlights at the beginning and having to plan ahead that far, I also think this scene might have been a lot easier in digital. I've never tried digital art, but I have seen a lot of artists create pieces with very intricate detailed backgrounds, and being able to zoom in and add all the details to the face and the wood texture, and then being able to erase if needed, I think this scene probably would have been ideal for digital art. This painting is actually very reminiscent of the Encanto painting that I did. That was ages ago. I will leave the video down below. It was over a year ago. I painted Casita from Encanto and it literally took me three days to do. It did have more detail than this one, but that was an incredibly detailed painting, especially for a sketchbook. And that painting was probably the one that inspired me to start this scene series. So it was nice to kind of revisit it for this painting. As I said, I will leave that one down below. It's very old, but it's a really cool piece. You knit me in my mother's womb. Oh, I praise you, God. You chose me. Yes, you chose me.
But this is how the painting has turned out. This painting, along with all of my other movie scenes, is now up on in print. So if you're interested in getting any of my paintings as prints and stickers, I will leave the link down below. I do love painting traditionally and then taking photos for prints and stickers because they have so much texture showing through. I love being able to see the paper texture and if you do too, these ones definitely have that. And my Peachtober ones, they have a lot of texture. I'm just going to peel off the tape now and I'm using the same technique that I always use, using a hairdryer every single time no matter what to get that perfect peel. Thank you so much for watching another episode in this series. If there's any shows or movies you'd like to see me paint, just let me know down below and I might pick yours next time. Please like and subscribe, it really helps my channel and I'll see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye bye!